Sister Len Montiel helps people living with AIDS. She works with Merinol's Seedlings of Hope program in Cambodia. I am Sister Len Montiel. Uh, we're right now we're in Kotong, uh, in Kandal province, and we're doing a house visit with one of our clients, some of the people living with HIV AIDS that we work with. And Lo Marie is HIV positive from her first husband, now deceased. She has five children, including newborn twins from her second husband. They belong to the Cham Muslim minority, traditionally fishermen who live and work in river houseboats. Sickness and homelessness caused Lo Marie to become depressed. Her health has improved since taking antiretroviral drugs and her spirits lifted by Sister Len and her team's visits. A livelihood grant helped the family by paying for a used houseboat like one of these. It is currently under repair. This is the houseboat. She got this as part of her livelihood grant. It really just only cost $250 because the owner of the boat also uh, pitied her and so they gave it cheap. A new boat like this would be about $1,000. For our livelihood grants, uh, First, the, the women and the, peop the people, our clients, have to be really physically and also psychologically ready. Because we really do work on their inner, inner strength. The, we work in valuing themselves and so by the time they come out, yes, I can do this. They believe they can do this. Yes, there is hope. So that, that's, uh, that's really our secret to success is that we value them, they learn to value themselves, then they learn to value, to value others. So the sustainability is there. She said, we work very hard. But despite working hard, there's nothing. And, and that's the unfairness of the whole system of the world. Her husband is healthy. She, he is the second husband. So he's healthy. This, he is the father of the twins. Right. These people have the right to medicine. They, these people have the right to health services. These people have the right for food. And one thing we may pass on, but at least these people from far away, they can go up to the hospital. They've registered and up to, uh, for access to the antiretroviral therapy, and they can talk to the doctors. They know how to ask and what to ask for. But once you cross the river, uh, the, the houses are far, far in between. And so it's a real service that we give to the people in these villages because it's so hard even for them to get to the closest district hospital. So we do provide the uh, transportation and then all the medical expenses. We're on the Basak River. We're crossing across to visit the another fa two families over there. Right now we're watching our boat ferry moving so that our car could go in. Nine-year-old Fiep Riti caught HIV from his mother. Both parents died of AIDS, leaving him and his two brothers to their grandparents. Sister Len and the team visit the family to monitor the boy's progress. So she, he has to wake up every five o'clock to take his medicine. His is five o'clock, some other children is six o'clock. But it has to be five o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, see, he's on the second line second line of antiretroviral because the first line didn't work for him. So if he needed to be in the third line, that's not available here in the country. Mr. Samuel is our field worker here. This is the book that we record, uh, raising the, especially the money we support the children for food and for uh, go to school. Sister Len jokes with the family as she blesses their shop with the money she is about to give them. That's good luck? Yeah, that, that's true for good luck. Like, so you're waving loy, money loy, around, loy. it's good yeah, luck. You should have to touch that, the loy, 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 chol. Nagoon Lon, father of three, has HIV, the only family member infected. 
A Merinol grant helped them set up this small shop to sell basic goods. Len treats the kids to sweets sold in the shop and jokes with the mother and grandfather. I just get invited to the New Year, but I'll be in New York. So. <laughs> that, that's one thing that we have been very good, Merinol has been very good in doing, is that we have really assisted the people and have help them learn how to access the health services uh, that, uh, that is for them and also demand for it in a nice way. This is just one of many great social projects run by Merinol in Cambodia.